How's it going? This track has a lot of depth. Every word in this audio is like a gold nugget. My mind replayed it a few times since I was so insightful. So if you can track down that elusive feeling, let me be clear, you have to find, practice and focus on what they're referring to. And that is exactly what I'm focusing on these days. Please listen to it very carefully. Each and every word is important. Using headphones and earphones will maximize your pleasure. Wishing an awesome day. Have a good one. Bye now. One of my great gifts is that I dream big. Big projects, big possibilities, lots of them. And my greatest fear is unfulfilled potential. That Well, you just said what we just said. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Dreaming big requires believing big and fear of unfulfilled potential means you're not doing that some people after they have dreamed big for a while but haven't believed and so haven't allowed it to be fulfilled then they think that they're going to stop dreaming but they can't you can't take that desire back you got to get up to speed with it yeah and so yeah I have lots of progression along the way and feel like I'm making progress and then I have an even bigger dream and you know feel like I'm going even the wrong direction instead of going in the right direction well, let us give you something that will help you easily and right away this is so much easier than you have been letting it be so just relax and take this in because it's so much simpler than anyone has realized dreaming big is so good that means that life is producing for you plenty of momentum and you're catching plenty of glimpses of what your inner being knows also because a lot of those dreams this is important for you to understand a lot of those dreams as they get big and they feel so intoxicating to you you're dreaming them because you're in the receiving mode you're receiving plenty of those dreams you're not just conjuring them up in the moment there's momentum your inner beings got hold of them your inner being is feeding to you the next logical and the next logical and you must be somewhere in the vibrational vicinity of the receiving mode for those dreams to feel so big and to feel so intoxicating to you so that's a really good thing isn't it yeah but here's the thing the subject of creation is really about the subject of the law of attraction and the subject of the law of attraction is really the subject of momentum so here's how momentum works you catch hold of a little dream maybe not something that takes your breath away but it felt good while you thought it and then if you are like so many objective humans you counter it with logic so the momentum is not allowed by you to pick up any more momentum that dream doesn't get going and if you're a really objective human you dream you kill it 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 but if you begin enjoying the feeling of the dream instead of needing the thoughts to turn all the way to the manifested things if you're happy in the thought if the thought in and of itself and here's the key word if the thought in and of itself is satisfying to you then the satisfying thought will carry you to more and more and more so the key is to catch it in the early subtle stages because in the beginning I want this but in other words since there's not much momentum the countering thought could be easily achieved in fact the countering thought could be more easily achieved if you have had a lot of naysayers around you and if you're human you have this is what's happening to you we've not said this before so hear it you were inspired to clarity about the dream inner beings in on this and then your humanness took over and killed it because there's plenty of negative momentum going on how are you gonna do that when you think about what you want and why you want it you usually get more momentum when you think about where it's going to come from when it's going to come who's going to be there how you're going to go about it when you try to answer those questions that you haven't yet achieved enough momentum to answer then that's when you contradict it and slow it way down so we know you're getting the idea you want to allow your dream to gestate 
in this vortex but it already is what we're getting at is you want to practice yourself the thoughts that allow you to be a vibrational equivalency to that vibration so that in the same place that the idea of the dream came from more ideas about how to proceed come to does that make sense to you but this is a key factor we didn't quite get to it in the fullest way that we want to the simple process for you is to just ask yourself Esther's asking herself this question a hundred or two hundred or three hundred times every day as a thought comes from somewhere is this a satisfying thought is this thought satisfying not is this the best thought I ever had not is this thought taking my breath away she's not asking for big time momentum because when there's big time momentum she doesn't have to ask that question but when it's just a thought about something like a driver who cuts her off in traffic and she thinks that was unkind and unnecessary and then she asks herself was that a satisfying thought no then leave it right there or someone yields for her and makes room for her to enter and she thinks that was awfully nice of you was that a satisfying thought yes indeed it was then keep thinking that thought Ooh, lots of people let me in like that she waves this way she makes sure they can see her from the back she waves this way she waves in her mirror she blows kisses she wants them to know she wants to carry that feeling as far as that feeling can and the more satisfied she is about that the more things like that become her experience so is that satisfying is that a satisfying thought it's a matter of letting and these are the key words we want you to hear don't try to make it happen let it be as big as it is it's big but let your relationship with it be as big as it is because it's big enough did you hear that don't try to fake it till you make it don't try to goose it up don't try to push the noodle don't try to pretend it because you can't fake it you can't fake with the universe how you feel is how you feel but you can if you discover a feeling that isn't satisfying you can refocus if you do it early enough before momentum gets hold of it because if momentum gets hold of it then you're just gonna have to sort of go with it until another opportunity to choose shows itself to you does that make sense mm -hmm. so let's talk about some details if you want to I have an analogy and maybe this will go with it that when I have a dream uh, in a vision or whatever and I leave it up in the, the cloud basically I can move it around I can play with it I can flip it around I, and it's effortless and because and there's no reality that's no contradicting it yeah and there's as soon no as you try to bring it down don't say that because world, it's not true well in into existence that's because you're trying to fake it till you make it that's because you're trying to make it happen rather than allow it to be your work isn't to produce it to create it to manhandle it into place your work is to dream it into place and let the momentum of it inspire you to the action but then little old me has to write the email and create the relationships and yeah do but don't do it unless things. you're satisfied that's the point if you get an impulse to write an email and you say is this a satisfying thought write it here's what we're leading up to you are always in the receptive mode of something if you're sleeping it's a different thing but if you are awake you are offering a vibration and you're in the receiving mode of something the question is what what are you in the receiving mode are you in the receiving mode of your inner being and the fulfilling of your dream or are you in the receiving mode of fearful thoughts that you picked up from your mother or somebody what receiving mode are you in because you're always in the receiving mode and asking yourself the satisfaction question will tell you what receiving mode you're in what influence you are under Esther just sent the proof to the printer yesterday for a dash card that lays on your dash she thought about a bumper sticker but she didn't think it was good for you to run around with this bumper sticker it says under the influence <laughs> so it'll be on your dash if you want and when you look at it you can't read it so no one walking by has any idea what you're trying to say they think you're crazy 
but when you're in the car and looking forward it reflects upon the lower part of your windshield and it says under the influence and it could cause you to ask the question what influence am I under am I under the influence of my vortex my inner being or am I under the influence of my doubts and fears because as you just explained to us it could go either way when you're dreaming it's easy to dream in fact we've been saying for a long time that 99.99.99 a lot of a lot of almost all of your creation is complete before you let's say you have a business idea more than 99% of it is all done before you put the first board up for the first building or hire the first person or make your first dollar because it's done vibrationally and then it starts manifesting but most people don't really get that going because they get it and get it and stop it and get it and stop it and get it and stop it and then they say oh I better just manhandle this into beingness and then they're not empowered they're not enlivened the leverage of alignment is so huge and the paltry puniness of action is so misunderstood by humans so when you allow yourself to dream the dream until the dream inspires you to the action oh then all of the action is blissful and any action that isn't blissful we wouldn't offer we would either find a way to not act or we would find a way to act in bliss and it takes a little bit of doing because you sort of have to rework it a little bit you have to remind yourself but it doesn't take very long before you're satisfied 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 you want to talk more about it because we've been talking conceptually but we can help you if you want to chew through it a little bit because wouldn't it be nice if you all were just starting right now and so you didn't have any beliefs that were in the way well that's not the case you got beliefs that are in the way so just gonna have to figure out how to navigate with those beliefs your inner being knows what your beliefs are that are in your way and your inner being will help you navigate around them your inner being will lead you when we talk about the path of least resistance you know what we're really talking about hear this drum roll please this is so good what that path of least resistance is is the path in your mind that has the least resistance that's what the path of least resistance is how can you most believe in this path and so sometimes your inner being will lead you to something that you believe in something you believe in something you believe in it's not long before you believe so much in source energy you believe so much in your vortex you believe so much in the laws of the universe you believe so much in the law of attraction you believe so much and here's the key piece you believe so much in your ability to discern satisfaction from dissatisfaction that you just start catching it earlier and earlier and earlier and you just feeling gooder and gooder and better and better and more and more and more and more and more until you're having so much fun on your way to the fulfillment of these dreams.